platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. as America's newest Marines. When you get home later today, your friends are going to notice a change in you. Whether it's the pride in your stride or the yut in your strut, they're going to look up to you and they're going to ask, how can they be more like you? And I want you to look them in the eye and tell them that they too can be one of the few, the proud. And take them down to the local recruiter because we'd love to have them. <laughs> While you're at home, ensure you stay prepared both mentally and physically. That eagle globe and anchor you now wear upon your brow carries with it over 200 years of history and tradition. You now enjoy the reputation of the thousands of Marines that have gone before you. Always be worthy of that reputation. Always be mindful of our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. On behalf of the commanders, drill instructors, and support personnel aboard the depot, congratulations, and we look forward to serving with you in the future. May God bless you. May you always have fair winds and following seas, and may you forever remain separate for them.
taking her position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing officer, Lieutenant General John. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to Lieutenant General Tulin. Thank you. Please be seated. Lieutenant General John A. Tooley Jr., Commanding General, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force. Lieutenant General John A. Tooley Jr. was commissioned in October 1976 and was designated as an infantry officer from the basic school. Lieutenant General Tooley has served with distinction in a variety of challenging command and staff positions throughout his career. His service includes time with the following commands. 1st Battalion, 9th Marines. Marine Corps Recruit Depot.
Series 2141, Series Commander, Captain Miles F. Green. Led on the march by Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Elmer J. Estes, Honor Platoon, Platoon 3241. Platoon 2142, Senior Drill Instructor, Gunnery Sergeant Jose E. Gutierrez. Platoon 2143, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Daniel Hernandez. Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drone instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the young men graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 12 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to build the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company G prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. After a well-deserved 10 days of leave, these young men will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a Rifleman. Next, he's in one of the rows in front of the drill instructor, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey! Hey! Uh -huh.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain John A. McNabb. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Christopher S. Amancio. The Marines standing in front of the platoons have spent 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for the past 3 months training your Marine. Drill instructor duty is extremely demanding and requires enormous personal sacrifice to accomplish the mission of making Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in a warm round of applause for the officers and drill instructors of Company G. is trained first and foremost as a rifleman. Well-trained Marines have the confidence required to deliver an accurate fire under the most adverse battle conditions. The Marine Corps Combat Rifle Program includes a requirement for Marines to effectively engage targets at various distances ranging from 25 to 500 yards utilizing elementary firing positions and more advanced combat shooting techniques. Please direct your attention to the Marines standing in front of platoon 2141. PFC Jerry C. Lopez has distinguished himself as the most proficient combat marksman in Company G, obtaining the Company of Marks Corps. High degree of personal discipline and dedication to achieve 20 dead hang pull ups, 100 crunches in two minutes, and complete a three mile run in 18 minutes or less for a combined score of 300 points. Please direct your attention to the Marine standing in front of platoon 2143. Private Adrian Morris performed 35 dead hang pull ups, 100 crunches in two minutes and completed a three mile run in 18 minutes and three seconds on his final physical fitness test. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming <laughs> function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation and enthusiasm and were selected as the platoon honormen. The honormen are recognized as being the most outstanding Marines in their platoons. The platoon honormen compete for the titles of series and company honormen who are considered the top men graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. 
Upon retirement of the guidons, each honor man will receive a plaque from the Marine Corps Association's Leatherneck Magazine, a magazine for and about Marines. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.